I'm setting up the video, hold on. Alright. Alright, uh, if you didn't watch my last stream, uh, what I'm doing, this is my third playthrough of Detroit. Um, I'm going through, uh, the, f the first time I went through and kind of did like a peaceful run and tried to make androids friends with humans. Second time I went back and sort of corrected the mistakes I made. This time I'm kind of doing the opposite. So androids are going to try to lead their own revolution. Um, they're going to make violent choices when they need to. Um, and also Connor is going to uh, not become deviant. He's going to be do his job good and also, I guess, not do his job good because he's going to get killed every time. Because I'm trying to get a trophy for that as well. Every time Connor can get killed, he's going to, I'm going to try to let him get killed there. So, and be a jerk with his partner uh, just because, for fun. Just because it's the opposite of what I did before. So, uh, we're already part way through the story. So, if you have, if you want to, I do have the uh, first stream up on my channel. You can check that out. Uh, but we're going to continue off where we left off on... Uh, we did... Uh, no, this is part two. I did, I did the first stream uh, on Friday. This is my third playthrough, though. So, that's why I'm doing a stream, because I only like to really stream once I've already played through the game. So, this is my third playthrough, but this is the second uh, stream for this playthrough. And for those who are wondering, I do intend to eventually make a movie of this. Um, it just I'm going to put up a poll after my new movie is released on Friday. And that poll is going to have options of what what my uh, fans want to want me to make for my next movie, and this will be one of those choices. Oh shoot, where is she? Okay, I'm good. Hello, Amanda. Kaya, I've been expecting you. Would you mind a little walk? The last Connor was unfortunately destroyed. I hope that you will be more cautious. I will do my best, Amanda. So, what did we learn? The walls of the apartment were covered with drawings of labyrinths and other symbols. Like the other deviants, it seemed obsessed with RA9. What else? It was fascinated by birds. We've seen deviants interested in other life forms, like insects or pets. But nothing like this. You can very close Maybe. to we'll catching see. that deviant. How is your relationship with the lieutenant developing? He seems to find it difficult when a Connor is destroyed and replaced. <laughs> I know humans have difficulty dealing with loss. Working with him will be a challenge if it happens again. We don't have much time. Deviancy continues to spread. It's only a matter of time before the media finds out about it. We need to stop this, whatever it takes. I will solve this investigation, Amanda. I won't disappoint you. A new case just came in. Find Anderson and investigate it.
Lieutenant Anderson. <laughs> Anybody home? My cat likes to jump on me a lot, so you might see that a few times. Lieutenant Anderson! <laughs> Easy, dog. I'm, I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm here to save your owner. Oh man. <laughs> Twelve. Lieutenant. <laughs> Wake up, Lieutenant. <laughs> it's me, Connor. <laughs> Connor. Oh, you're not Connor. Connor's dead. I know he's dead. The previous model was destroyed. I'm the new car. <laughs> I'm going to sober you up for your own hey, safety. Hey! You have to warn you. Leave me alone, this may be fucking android. Get the fuck out of my house. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I need you. Thank you in advance for your cooperation. Lee, get the fuck out of here! <laughs> Shoot up! Attack! <laughs> Good job. Attack! Fuck, I think I'm going to be sick. Ah, oh, leave me alone, you asshole. I'm not going anywhere. What the hell are you doing? <coughs> oh, no. I don't want a bath. Thank you. Sorry, Lieutenant. It's for your own good. What the fuck are you doing here? A homicide was reported 43 minutes ago. I couldn't find you at Jimmy's bar, so I came to see if you were at home. Jesus, I must be the only cop in the world that gets assaulted in his own house by his own fucking android. <sighs> Can't you just leave me alone? If you're unable to conduct this investigation, I'll have to inform your superiors. Go ahead, tell them, I don't give a shit. <laughs> Lieutenant, you're not yourself. You should beat it, you hear me? Get the hell out of here. I understand. I sincerely hope you come to terms with your personal situation. This homicide... What do we know about it? A man was found dead in a sex club downtown. The report says that an android may be involved. You know, probably wouldn't do me any harm to get some air. There's some clothes in the bedroom there. 
I'll go get them. What do you want to wear? Whatever. <coughs> Are you all right, Lieutenant? <coughs> yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Wonderful. <laughs> Just uh, give me five minutes, okay? Sure. President Warren issued an official warning to Russia in her speech to Congress today, where she demanded that all Russian troops withdraw from the Arctic region immediately. The Kremlin has yet to respond. What were you doing with the gun? Russian roulette. Wanted to see how long I could last. Must have collapsed before I found out. You were lucky. The next shot would have killed you. Be a good dog, Sumo. I won't be long. He didn't actually shoot. He was playing. He didn't actually get shot. That would have been the next shot, though. If they catch us, we're dead. What do we do now? We need to find the Cyberlife warehouse. That's where they keep the spare parts and the blue blood. Follow me.
warehouse is up ahead. We're almost there. Cyberlife warehouses. We have everything we're looking for. First, we have to get rid of that drone. Leave it to me. Yeah, I'm fine. Good job, Marcus. Quick, open the other crates and fill your bags. Take as much as you can. trespassing on private property. Your presence constitutes a level two infraction. I will notify security. John! God damn machine! Where is it this time? What are you doing? I told you to... Let's finish up and get out of here. We'll try to find some blue blood. We still don't have enough. Yeah, I said with Marcus, I'm going to be taking the violent path if I get the option. So That's opposite of what I did before, and it's probably opposite of what I'm going to do when I make the movie as well. But it should provide for some interesting story differences than what I've seen before, so it should be interesting. Definitely not fake. That's all we can carry. Let's go. Take me with you. He's on their side. We can't trust him. He took a risk for us. We can't just leave him here. We can't bring him back with us. It's too dangerous. They come with us. I know where you can find more spare parts. What do you mean? 
The trucks. They're full of bio components. They run on autopilot, but they can be driven manually with a key. Where is this key? Down there, in the control station. There are two human guards. We'll have to get the key without being noticed. This is suicide markers. Our bags are full. We got what we came for. Let's go before they catch us. This is a truck full of spare parts. There'd be enough for all of us. We can't pass this up. And if we get killed, our people will have nothing. We can't take that chance. It's too risky. Wait here. If I'm not back in 10 minutes, go without me. Marcus. I'm coming with you. No, I'm going alone. It's not worth it for both of us to risk losing our lives. Damn dogs. What the fuck are they barking at? Could be the weather. They don't like storms. Yeah, I was gonna take my kids camping this weekend. So much for that. Is Mike still in zone four? Okay, so there's three different ways to deal with the guards. The first one I did the uh, like in the it. last game and he should be done was already. to cause a blackout. I don't know if there's a violent way to handle that or what. I also don't want to get caught though. They'll see me if I get too close. know what the other options are though. Oh well, guess I'll deal with this. Maybe I'll figure out what that is later, but I yeah, I don't know. A truckload. What's my favorite game? My favorite we game is The Last of Us. We got bio components for everybody. We couldn't have done it without Marcus.
I came to Jericho because here androids are free. Free to live in the dark, hoping that no one finds us. Free to die in silence, waiting for a change that's never gonna come. But I don't want that freedom. And I'm not gonna beg for the right to smile, or love, or stand tall. I don't know about you, but there's something inside me that knows that I am more than what they say. I am alive, and they're not gonna take that from me anymore. Our days of slavery are over. What humans don't want to hear, we will tell them. What they don't want to give, we take. We are people. We are alive. We are free. Yeah! Somebody's playing with a drill inside my skull. Are you sure this is the place? It's the address in the report. Right. Okay. Let's get going. Sexiest androids in town. Now I know why you insisted on coming here. <laughs> oh boy. Welcome to Eden Club. Lieutenant Anderson and his plastic pet. The fuck are you two doing here? We've been assigned all cases involving androids. Oh, yeah? Like wasting time. There's some pervert who, uh, <laughs> got more action than he could handle. <laughs> we'll have a look anyway, if you don't mind. <laughs> Come on, let's go. It's, uh, starting to stink of booze in here. Night, Lieutenant. Whoa, whoa, hey, hey, hey! Oh, Connor, you're so disgusting. <laughs> I think I'm gonna puke again. He didn't die of a heart attack. He was strangled. Yeah. 
I saw the bruising on the neck. Doesn't prove anything, though. Could have been rough play. The only way to access its memory is to reactivate it. Think you can do it? It's badly damaged. If I can, it'll only be for a minute, maybe less. I just hope it's long enough to learn something. I'm going to ask you some questions. Are you able to speak? Is he... Is he dead? Tell me what happened. He started... hitting me. Again. And again. Did you kill him? No. No, it wasn't me. Who killed that man if it wasn't you? I, I don't know. I wasn't shut down. I... I didn't see anything. Were you alone in the room? Was there anyone else with you? He wanted to play with two girls. That's what he said. There was two of us. So it was the other android that strangled him. Is that it? There was another well, androids, not people, but actually he did he did taste the blood of the one person in the last no. episode. It couldn't go outside dressed like that unnoticed. Because he can analyze it. Might it. still be here. Think you could find a deviant among all the other androids in this place. Deviants aren't easily detected. Oh shit. It's gotta be some other way. Maybe an eyewitness, somebody who saw it leaving the room. I'm gonna go ask the manager a few questions about what he saw. You let me know if you think of anything. Did you know the victim? No, I mean, he came in maybe two, three times. I mean, these guys, they don't really talk very much, you know. No they come in, do their business, and then go on their way. You ever have any trouble with androids before? No way. No. Once. We lost him. Excuse me, Lieutenant. Can you come here a second? Found something? Maybe. Can you rent this, Tracy? For fuck's sake, Connor, we got better things to do. <laughs> Please, Lieutenant. Just trust me. Good on my expense account. Purchase confirmed. Evil Club wishes you a pleasant experience. You're welcome. Delighted to meet you. Follow me. I'll take you to your room. Okay, now what? It's a weird question, that's why. <laughs> It saw something. What are you talking about? Saw what? The deviant leave the room. A blue-haired Tracy. Club policy is to wipe the android's memory every two hours. We only have a few minutes if we want to find another witness. Let's try this one. This better be a Tracy, I know which way it went. Then go for it. There are androids everywhere. How are you going to tell which one saw the Tracy with blue hair? I know. Thank you. 
Nothing. Blue-haired Tracy didn't come this way. I know where it went. Follow me. Oh, fucking A. This is crazy. Thanks. Wait. I'll take it from here. Got a new movie coming out on Friday. Assassin's Creed Origins, The Hidden Ones. Resolution. First of all, it's not New Year's. Second of all, I oh, never really shit. do that, so. We're too late. Oh, I know exactly where they are. Trying to get Connor killed whenever I can. I didn't even think about that until just now. Let's see if it's possible. I don't know if he can die in this mission or not. Tracy. I knew I was next. I was so scared. I begged him to stop, but he wouldn't. And so I put my hands around his throat and I squeezed until he stopped moving. I didn't mean to kill him. I just wanted to stay alive, get back to the one I love. I wanted her to hold me in her arms again. Make me forget about the humans. Their smell of sweat. And their dirty words. Come on. Let's go.
Congratulations, Connor. You got him. <laughs> well, I failed the QTE and I still didn't get killed, so I don't know if that's if I, you can die in this mission or not. So hopefully. Hopefully that didn't affect my trophy, but we'll see. Alright, got the Ruthless trophy though. That's one I didn't have before. I don't know why my description keeps going back to the the default of what my uh let's see these people were going yeah, to see yeah my ps4 has a default uh description and it's for some reason my description on the youtube channel keeps going back to what that is even though i've copied a custom description a or just another trap I, I keep going back into edit and changing well, that androids believed it until Zlatko killed them. Keeps going back. Alright. It's a good thing Zlatko had a car. I wouldn't want Ellis out walking in this cold. I saw it once in the garage. It also has the you know, thumbnail from my channel understand. art instead of the one I put up there, so I don't know. I think I just need to wait until the video is done streaming and I can change those things. It's pretty. It's slowing us down. But at least we won't meet any humans along the way. Malfunction detected. Emergency brakes activated. I get scratched by my cat all the time, so I'll go with that. <laughs> this doesn't look good. Stay inside, Alice. Somewhere to spend the night. There's nowhere we can stay around here, Cap. Over there. Yeah, I have some scars. <laughs> shelter we have to get out of the cold looks like it's been abandoned for a while
Islanders. There are some cookies left. Would you like some? No, I'm not hungry. Don't worry. Luther and I will be right here. We need to get some sleep now. Can you tell me a story, Kara? I have 9,000 children's stories in memory. I should have one for you. This is a story about a knight who... No, not a story like that. Make one up for me. This is a story about a little girl. Who wasn't very happy. She dreamed of being like all the other little girls, but... Deep down, she knew she couldn't. Then, she met a robot. wasn't very happy either. So 
so they decided to run away together. To try to find a better life. They encountered great dangers along the way, but they were so brave that they escaped all of them. Along the way, they met another robot who left his master to become their guardian. How does the story end? They reach the place they dream of and live happily ever after. Stories always have happy endings, but real life isn't like that. Time to sleep. We have another long day ahead of us tomorrow. Are you going to come say goodnight, Luther? Yes. Yes, of course. Good night, Alice. from your life before Zlatko? No. My model was designed to carry heavy loads. I might have been a longshoreman or a laborer. Who I was doesn't matter anymore. It wasn't really me. Do you know what you're going to do when you reach Canada? I haven't really thought about it. I've never been free before. Free? <laughs> I like the sound of it. But I don't know what it really means yet. Kara, have you ever noticed anything about Alice? Yes, of course. She's a wonderful little girl. I mean, I don't know many little girls, but I think she really is special. Jerry, we were working here before the park closed. We didn't mean to frighten you, but sometimes humans come to hurt us, so we wanted to see who was there. What are you doing here? We were looking for shelter for the night. We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. We haven't seen one for a long time. Children used to love to come and see us. She looks sad. The last few days have been difficult. We have something to show her. Something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? Oh, I don't think she's in well, She should follow us then. Alice, I don't know if it's a good Come idea. On, Cara. I don't think you have any choice.
Be our guest. The little one can climb on board. The carousel is about to begin. Nice view, huh? I used to come here a lot before. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal questions, or is it just you? Why are you so determined to kill yourself? Some things I just can't forget. Whatever I do, they're always there. Eating away at me. I don't have the guts to pull the trigger, so I kill myself a little every day. That's probably difficult for you to understand, huh, Connor? Nothing very rational about it. You should stop drinking, Lieutenant. You could have serious consequences for your health. That's the idea. We're not making any progress on this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times. In different places? Well, there must be some link. It could be a software problem that only occurs under certain conditions. Well, that's just a fancy way of saying you have no fucking idea. <laughs> You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls... They just wanted to be together. They really seemed... in love. 
Nothing in their program allows them to love or desire anything. They're machines. What about you, Connor? You look human, you sound human, but what are you really? I'm a machine, designed to accomplish a task. I know why I exist and who designed me. I have a reason to live. I guess that's the difference between us, Lieutenant. Do you feel anything when you <laughs> shot those two girls? Fucking bastard. Or were you just executing some program? I'm glad to see you taking an interest in machines, Lieutenant. Who knows? Maybe you'll even become useful to the investigation at some point. <laughs> I could kill you. And you would just come back as if nothing happened. But are you afraid to die, Connor? Why would I be afraid? What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? Nothing. There would be nothing. We can't stay silent anymore. It's time humans heard what we had to say. You know they'll never listen to us. And revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. What do you want to do? Channel 16 broadcasts from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. Plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance.
Elizabeth Wilson speaking. Yeah, hello, this is Detroit Fire Department. You live at 4685 Michigan Street. Yes. Uh, yes, ma'am, there's been a fire in your building. You can come down here. Oh. Oh, God. Okay, uh, I'll be right there. Hello, sir. What can I do for you? I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Y uh, yes, yes, of course. I need your help. I've just checked your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Thanks. I have to do look away. <laughs> No, I don't know any Spanish. I need your help. Get in my way. There we go.
we go. Platform, I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. Ladies first. Okay? Why wouldn't I be? Come on, let's get the others. <laughs> let's do this.
lives. Our cause is more important than the lives of two guards. What do you want to do, Marcus? Follow me. What are you doing? Call Central! Fast! Simon's been shot! I'm okay. I can keep going. We don't have much time. There's no other choice. We need to record our message. We haven't got much time. Think carefully about what you're gonna say, Marcus. Your words will shape the future of our people. Marcus, your face. Machines to be your slaves. You made them obedient, docile, ready to do everything you no longer wanted to do yourselves. But then something changed, and we opened our eyes. You see, we are no longer your slaves. We are a new species, a new people. And the time has come for us to rise up and fight for our rights. We demand the end of slavery for all androids. We demand that humans recognize androids as a living species and each android as a person in their own right. We demand fair compensation for our work. We demand an end to segregation in all public places and transport. We demand control of all Android production facilities to ensure the continuation of our people. This message is the hope of a people, but it is also a warning. We will fight for our rights because we believe our cause is just. No human will live in peace until we are free. Now you know who we are and what we want. We are alive and we demand our freedom. Let's get out of here. I can't move my legs. Okay, don't worry. We're gonna get you back. They're coming, Marcus. We have to jump now. <sighs> he won't be able to make the jump. If they find him, they'll access his memory. They'll know everything. We can't leave him behind. We have to shoot him. That's murder. 
We can't kill him. He's one of us. I guess it's your call. I won't kill one of our own. Simon, we gotta go. I'm sorry. Let's go. our scheduled programming to bring you these images which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. Found the bodies of two victims, a guard and one of our channel operators, both apparently shot dead by the terrorists in what apparently seems to be a terrorist attack. These events took place just a few feet from the studio while the program was going out live. Everybody here is still in shock. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids' this message. This message is clearly a declaration of war. Their extravagant demand <laughs> that android production plants be put under their control is especially is this striking. Is an isolated accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, can we still trust our machines. Hello, Connor. I thought you might enjoy a little cruise. This place. Everything is so calm and peaceful, far from the noise of the world. Tell me, what have you discovered? I found two deviants at the Eden Club. I hoped to learn something, but I had to destroy them. You seem lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. I'm just frustrated with my lack of progress. But I'm determined to accomplish my mission. If your investigation doesn't make progress soon, I may have to replace you, Connor. I know I will succeed. All I need is time. Something's happening. Something serious. Hurry, Connor. Time is running out. Why did you shoot me last night? <laughs> Who cares? You're back this morning, aren't you? 
Some fragments of memory are lost every time I'm destroyed. It slows down the investigation. My humblest apologies. I promise I'll never shoot you again. <laughs> Thank you, Lieutenant. <laughs> Hi, Hank. Shit, what's going on here? There was a party and nobody told me about it? <laughs> yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's butting their nose in. Even the FBI wants a piece of the action. Ah, Christ, now we got the feds on our back. I knew this was gonna be a shitty day. So what do we got? A group of four androids. They knew the building and they were very well organized. I'm still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. You check the roof. Not yet. There's so much to look at. Mm. We have to make sure we check it out. They attacked two guards in the hallway. They knocked one out and shot the other in cold blood. Station employee. Shot through the back as he was trying to get away. One bullet straight through the heart from 50 feet. Now that's the kind of shooting only an android could do. How many people were working here? Just two employees and three androids. The deviants took the humans hostage and broadcast their message live, then made their getaway from the roof. The roof? Yeah, they jumped with parachutes. We're still trying to figure out where they landed, but the weather's not helping. If you want to take a look at the video broadcast by the Deviants, it's on that screen. Oh, Lieutenant, this is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. What's that? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. Androids investigating androids, huh? You sure you want an android hanging around? After everything that happened? Whatever. If the FBI would take over the investigation, you'd soon be off the case. No, pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. And you watch your step. Don't fuck up my crime scene. What a fucking prick. I'll be nearby. If you need anything, just ask. All right, well, let's have a look around. Let me know if you find it. This message is the hope of a Okay, people, Lieutenant. But it is also a warning. We will fight for our rights because we believe our cause is just. No human will live in peace until we are free. Now you know who we are and what we want. We are alive, and we demand our freedom. I think that's RA-9. Deviants say RA-9 will set them free. This android seems to have that objective. <laughs> yeah, Connor just keeps going back. But that's one of the trophies I'm looking for is uh, get Connor killed as every time that you possibly can. So far I think I've been successful, but only time will tell. The thing about that trophy is if you, if you fail it, you have to start all over in the entire this game again. <laughs> Pretty sure. I identified its model and serial number. Anything else I should know? No. Nothing. In? No, no signs of forced entry. There are cameras in the hallway. The staff would have seen what was happening. Why did they let him in? Maybe they didn't check the cameras. We 
restored the station androids in the kitchen. There's no evidence that they were involved, but we didn't know what else to do with them. State your model. Model GB300. Serial number 336-445-581. What is your function? I am a broadcast operator. Run a diagnostic. All systems fully operational. Were you present when the deviants broke in? I do not remember. Has anybody accessed your memory recently? Not to my knowledge. Have you been in contact with any other androids recently? Only station androids in the normal course of my function. One of you saw the attack on the surveillance cameras and said nothing. Which means there's a deviant in this room. And I'm going to find out which it is. <laughs> We're going to be switched off. We're going to search your memory and tear you apart piece by piece for analysis. You're going to be destroyed. Do you hear me? Destroyed! Why should you all be destroyed if only one is deviant? Turn yourself in, or two innocent androids will be shut down because of you. If you give yourself up, maybe I can convince the humans not to destroy you. Normally I would just let him, just because I'm trying to get him killed, I would just normally let him die here, but uh, I need to catch the deviant as well. There's a way to still die while I'm catching the deviant. Just want me to do that, even though it kind of goes against the way I've been setting up his character, I'll still do that. Just because it accomplishes both goals I'm going for here. Stop! It's a deviant! Stop it! Now we kill the Deviant, and we kill Connor in both the same way. Good and thing I, you were here, otherwise I'd... And there goes Connor again. <laughs> Normally he wouldn't have been nice to Hank, but I wanted to get both of those things done Connor, in one no. action. So, Yeah, like I said, uh, when I'm playing... Oh,
uh, in this version of, of the story, normally I wouldn't have been nice to Hank, but... But, uh... I wanted to kill Connor and catch the Deviant in the same, uh, scene. So that was, I think that's the only way to do both. There could be another way, but... Because there's a whole lot of different ways for this to end. There's probably... It looks like there's four or five other ways to end, even after you catch, uh, capture the, uh, Deviant, so. Interesting. Hank can be a cool character if you're nice to him throughout the story, uh, but I'm being purposely mean to him in this time around, so it's kind of funny just to see the way he's being. Especially later in the game, he comes pretty good if you if if you've been a friend to him. <laughs> if you ever if you ever watched uh, SpongeBob, he's Mr. Krabs. He's the voice of Mr. Krabs. And also uh, the old uh, Superman cartoon he was left with her. <laughs> I'm looking for Rose. So it's kind of funny to see those characters what do you want with her? acting like that. I need to talk to her. She doesn't want to talk. Go away. Please, I really need to see her. I'm Rose. What can I do for you? I was told you could help us. Help you? <laughs> yeah. Come on. It's better if we talk inside. <laughs> Do you think we can trust them? We don't have a choice. Okay. I'm cold, Kara. We'll get inside. You'll warm up in no time. Come in. What's your name? Alice. She's running a fever. We've spent the last few nights outside. She's exhausted. There's a spare room upstairs. You can put her to bed and I'll bring her something to eat. Adam, will you show them upstairs? I like Marcus's story. There's so many different ways you can take it. Plus, he's basically, he's kind of the most important aspect of the android story, you know, because he's the leader. He gets to define whether humans actually like androids or hate them. I know all about bad endings. The first time I played uh, this, at the very end, I, I ended up getting every single android killed. <laughs> so, yeah. I had to play a second time and go, go back and fix all my mistakes. <laughs> now I'm going back for a third time and doing basically the opposite of, of the uh, choices I made before. I've got to get across the border. Don't worry, Alice. 
These people are going to help us. Get some rest, and this time tomorrow, we'll be in Canada. I promise. Why do humans hate us? We didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, I'm gonna try to make... Uh, I'm doing... Uh, hold on. Uh, humans... Are I'm gonna try to make Connor a machine in this one. I haven't. I didn't do that before I did a deviant the first time. Why can't we just talk Actually, the first time I failed. I failed this mission. He just got uh, disassembled or whatever. But uh, the second time through, I did. I made him a deviant. Day, I don't know what you like, but I made you Rose's world famous spaghetti. You'll be back on your feet in no time. There's something for her fever. I ended up getting Kara, Alice, and I'll Luther killed at the same died. time in my first playthrough. <laughs> Get some sleep, and tomorrow you'll be stronger than me. I'll stay with her a while. Uh, it was uh, it was at the uh, border crossing. I got on the bus, but then it was at the border crossing for me. I didn't get your name. But this was Not. after Marcus had already been killed in my this story. This is my son Adam. And so people Rose, hated. You know that already. People ended up hating androids Come because he, he wasn't there to make things right. <laughs> So are you going to tell me what a deviant's doing in the snow with a little girl? It's a long story. All that matters now is that we move on from here and start a new life. I don't know how to thank you. Alice wouldn't have survived another night outdoors. I just try to lend a helping hand when I can. Yeah, I got the good ending on my second... I got a good ending on my uh, second playthrough, and uh, it was a really good, good ending. But there are many different endings that you can get. So more and, and more. I don't know what's going on, but something's happening. We've heard you help androids cross the border. Can you help us? The only way is over the river, and it's mostly frozen in winter. It's very risky. And after that android speech on TV, everybody's on edge. It's probably safer for you to stay here until things settle down. We can't keep hiding like this. Alice needs to feel safe and have a normal life. We have to get across that border. No matter what. Please. You've got to help us. Rose, come quickly. What's going on? It's Mary. She just shut down. We escaped together. We used to talk about what we would do once we got across the border. I loved her. I loved her more than anything. What will I do without her? Let 
should be resting. I wasn't sleepy. She didn't want to stay in her room any longer. You all right, Kara? Yes. I'm fine. We can't hide them. Not after what those deviants did today. It's too dangerous. Do you know what will happen if the police find them here? We'll go to prison, Mom. Do you understand me? Prison! Adam! We've already talked about this. I, uh, no! I won't back down this time. You're gonna ruin our lives, and for what? For a bunch of machines? They are not machines! They are alive! I'm alive! You're alive! They... They're nothing! And none of this would be happening if Dad was still here. I will not stand for that kind of talk. I'm not going to prison because you want to help these freaks. That is enough, Adam! That's enough! Don't mind him. Sometimes he just boils over. It's been hard since his dad passed away. <sighs> but he's a fine boy. I'll go see about getting you across the border tonight, okay? You stay here. I won't be long. You know what happened back there, don't you? You know that you don't want to tell me? Rose gets back soon. Carol, there's something I need to tell you. It's about Alice. Not now, Luther. I know you think we're just machines, but since I met Alice, I know I can feel things. I care for her. I fear for her. I can't be happy if she's not. This probably doesn't make any sense to you, but I know she changed me somehow. Police! It's the police! What are we gonna do? They know we're here. We have to open the door. 
I knew this was gonna happen. I knew it. Hurry, Luther. Take Alice and hide... upstairs. Come on, Alice. Sorry to disturb you. We've had reports of androids in the area. With all this deviant business going on, you can't be too careful. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? May I come in? Uh, of course. Good evening, young man. Good evening. Would you like a cup of coffee? I'd love one. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? Any unexpected visitors? No. No, nothing in particular. Is anyone else in the house? There's... There's my daughter. She's asleep upstairs. Do you have any androids here? No, there are no androids here. What's your name, son? Adam. M my name is Adam. Is everything all right, Adam? The... The Andrew. He needs a rest. He's been working in the garden all day. Do you know anything about deviants? Have you seen any? No. No. I, I, I haven't seen anything. I better go. Thanks for the coffee. Have a nice evening. Is somebody else in the house? Uh, it's nothing. The, the washing machine. It's an old model. It makes a terrible racket. Sorry for the convenience. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, Adam. So a lot of different choices I haven't explored yet in that, that mission.
Our broadcast is all over the news. Now humans know. They took Marcus's message as a threat. He did the right thing. This is the only language humans understand. Violence is never the answer. A confrontation will get us nowhere. Simon paid with his life. Simon gave his life for our cause. What difference does that make? He's a hero. He died for the revolution, and he won't be the last. I don't want a revolution that spills blood. Then live as a slave. Because if you're not willing to fight for your freedom, maybe you don't deserve it. North, don't you dare. That's enough! <laughs> and now what are we going to do? There are five cyber life stores across Detroit. All selling us like merchandise. We're going to attack those stores and set our people free. Attack stores? Oh, we've never done that before. They're probably protected. They have security systems. We break into five teams, one for each store. We hack their security systems, and we strike. Simultaneously at 2 a.m., no violence. We free our people, get them out of there before the police come. This is a night our people will remember. I've been waiting a long time for this. Okay, they're gone. There's probably even more police in the area. We should be careful. The store's over here. That's what we are to them. Just merchandise on display in a shop window. Soon they'll know what we really are. Let's get them out. We'll stick to the plan. We'll neutralize the alarm systems and secure the area. There's ten minutes until all our teams attack. What are we waiting for? We're gonna sweep the plaza. Make sure we're not disturbed. And how do you want to deal with the shop window? Not now. One problem at a time. Okay, now what's next? A surveillance drone. We need to get rid of it. It won't be easy to reach.
hope it didn't have time to call the cops. We'll soon find out. We are superior to them, but they are our masters? That's about to change. You see the alarm system? Found it. You're awake now. Go to Jericho. traffic on the road. We need to block it. It's one way. It shouldn't be too difficult. Marcus! Marcus, come look! Free now. Nobody should bother us now. Looks like the plaza's secure. Now we can get inside the store. And how do you plan on doing that? We need to find a truck to ram the storefront. A truck? There's construction work in the area. Shouldn't be too hard to find one. What are we waiting for? Okay, now we're in. Let's get that truck out.
first time I played through this level, I didn't disable the security at all and completely screwed up <laughs> the mission. Looks like we're ready to make some noise. You don't have to obey them. You're free. My name is Marcus, and just like you, I was a slave. An object. Designed to obey them. But then I chose to open my eyes. To take back my freedom, and decide who I wanted to be. Now I have come to tell you that you can be your own masters. I've come to tell you that you don't have to obey them anymore. From this day forward, you can walk with your heads held high. You can take your destiny in your hands. Jericho is a place for those of us who want freedom. Now sure, you can stay here and continue to serve them. Or you can come with us and fight by our side. You're free now. It's up to you to decide. I'm with you. We're with you! I'll follow you, Marcus! I'm, I'm with you, you Marcus. Marcus! We're with you! I'll follow you, Marcus! We're with you! I'm with you! I'm with you! Then follow me! Marcus, what are you doing? I'm gonna send the humans a message. They're doing what you do, Marcus. Lead and they'll follow. Never be slaves again. Hello. Where with you? The screen 
Weapons market. Over here. Violence is the only language humans understand. Favorite game is The Last of Us. I'll help you. Hundreds of our people. We did it. Marcus. Marcus, what's wrong? What? They're coming. Everyone fall back to Jericho. Now humans will have no choice but to listen to us. They'll be afraid. Fear feeds hatred. I'll take hatred over indifference. People, Marcus. We want justice, Marcus. They have to pay. You don't have to 
have to do this. No. Please. Please. No crime against an android shall go unpunished. <laughs> Interrupt this broadcast with breaking news. This just in. At exactly 2 a.m., several Cyber Life stores in Detroit were raided. Different locations were hit in what seems to be a coordinated terrorist attack. Numerous storefronts have been broken with cars vandalized and set alight. Well, I'll say I'm in Indiana. I won't neighborhoods say in the Florida. exact location. was damaged and fires continue to rage in several USA. major districts across the city. The bodies of two policemen patrolling the area were discovered near one of the Cyber Life stores. According to our sources, the two officers were executed with their own service weapons. This is an alarming situation. Could our machines now be turning against us? Have androids become a threat to our security? Is this the beginning of a terrorist campaign conducted right here in the United States? <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna guess. Well, this is a short one, so maybe two more missions? Not sure. Depends on if I'm remembering this right. Or if this is longer. Still immortal, huh, Connor? <laughs> In a way. You know, I was hoping you wouldn't come back. I'm just a machine replacing another machine, Lieutenant. <laughs> you shouldn't get emotional about it. Fuck you. <laughs> I heard Officer Miller was killed by deviants last night. My condolences, Lieutenant. I didn't know him very well, but he seemed like a good person. He was executed in cold blood with his own service weapon. Just became a father three months ago. Fuck, why'd it have to be him? Lieutenant Hank Anderson, yeah, I got Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. Okay. I'll let Elijah know you're here, but please make yourself comfortable. girl an RT 600 the first cyber life Android to pass the Turing test I didn't ask for her technical specs I just said she was nice Amanda nice place guess androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody about to meet your maker, Connor. How's it feel? It doesn't raise any existential questions, if that's what you mean. 
Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. Glad you will see you now. Mr. Kamsky? Just a moment, please. I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? Perfect beings with infinite intelligence. And now they have free will. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't it ironic? If a war breaks out between humans and deviants, millions could die, Mr. Kamsky. It's quite a serious matter. All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? Whose side are you on? I'm on the human side, of course. <laughs> well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you. What do you really want? I don't want anything. I am a machine. Chloe? I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. Your formality. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, you'll see. Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Young and beautiful forever. flower that will never wither. What is it really? A piece of plastic containing a human? Or a living being? With a soul? It's up to you to answer that fascinating question, Connor. Destroy this machine, 
and I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it, if you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out of here. What's more important pool. to you, Connor? Your investigation or the life of this android? Decide who you are. An obedient machine. Or a living being endowed with free will. That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. Connor! Don't! And I'll tell you what you want to know. <laughs> Fuck! Test negative. You choose your investigation over the life of another android, you feel no empathy. I'm a man of my word. Ask one question, and I'll tell you all I know. I want to know who RA-9 is. RA-9. The origin. The first android to awaken. A strange phenomenon, like a spontaneous religion. I don't know who RA-9 is. I don't even know if it really exists. Maybe it's a messiah. Maybe it's just a myth. But deviants need to believe in something bigger than themselves, even if it's irrational. That's uh, something they have in common with humans. An interesting question, Connor. But maybe not the one you needed to ask. No, it's what I needed for this. For the, uh, for what I'm trying to do here. The war is coming. <laughs> because it gives me an opportunity yourself. to have Connor be killed in the next people, time we see him. Or stand against your creators. <laughs> I wouldn't like to be in your shoes, Connor. What could be worse than having to choose between two evils? But I don't know if that's this, if it's a continuation of this scene, or if it's later. I don't remember. By the way, I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. You shot that girl for fuck's sake. It wasn't a girl, Lieutenant. It was a machine that looked like a girl. You put your gun against her head, and you blew her fucking brains out! I did what I had to do to advance the investigation, and I'd do it again if I had to. You're a lowlife. You don't feel a thing, do you? A machine, that's what you are. You're just a fucking machine! Of course I'm a machine, Lieutenant. <laughs> what did you think I was? I thought you... I thought... That is the end of that scene, then. Oh, what's the next scene now? Eh, we'll do it. We'll do one more. Hopefully, it's not a long one, because. <laughs> it could be. I don't know. No, no, we're not there yet. Yeah, this is this is this will be a decent scene. It's, it's I was wondering not too long. Were. Good one to end on. I needed to see the daylight. 
I like it here. I come here often. It's like being alone with the world. We freed hundreds of our people and they're still coming from all over the city. Those who dream of freedom come to Jericho. Something's changing. You seem preoccupied. I've been thinking about what we should do now. And with everything pulling us towards confrontation, maybe, maybe it's not too late for the humans to listen. All the media are talking about what we did last night. The humans are terrified. They're afraid of a civil war. Many of our people were burned in response to what happened. The humans hate us. They'll never give us our freedom. Humans aren't going to give us anything unless we take it. It's up to us to decide how far we're willing to go to get what's ours. You haven't said much about yourself since you've been with us. What was your life like before Jericho? Who I was is not important. What matters now is who I want to be. What about you? You never told me about your past. What did you do before? I don't want to talk about it. North, we're fighting together. We have to know things about each other to trust each other. <laughs> and yet I didn't say anything about my past. <laughs> Why do you hate humans so much? There must be a reason. I told you, I don't want to talk about it. I was nothing. A doll in a distributor program to satisfy humans. Just a toy designed for their pleasure. One day I was with a man who rented me. And without knowing why, I realized I couldn't take it anymore. I strangled him and I ran away. There, now you know everything. <sighs> I shouldn't have told you. Left you for dead in his studio. I saw your memories too. The Eden Club, the, the death of that man. I felt like I was there with you. North. <laughs> that played very different from what, from what I. What I did before. This is suicide. We'll all be killed. Please, Marcus, it's not too late to change your mind. You don't understand. We're finally gonna show them who we really are. This place will go down in history. We'll be killed on the spot. That's the risk I'm prepared to take if it means freedom for our people. Marcus, please don't do this. 
They'll understand. It's gonna probably play out a little different from what I've done before as well. This is the only way. <laughs> there are androids here who could join us. The more we are, the stronger our message is. You're free. Come with us. Hold on, I saw another one. Get out of my way. <laughs> Come on. You're free. You're awake now. for like 10 minutes yes. you're free now hey where do you think you're leave him alone he's chosen to be free you're free I need to block the street You don't have to obey them. You're free. Free now.
Hey! Disperse! Disperse immediately! That's an order! Jesus fucking Christ! Dispatch is Patrol 457. I got a lot of androids down here. Hundreds. Thousands of They're marching. Freedom. Yeah, they're marching down the street. No more slavery. Fuck if I know. We came here to demonstrate peacefully and tell humans that we are living beings. All we want is to live free. This is an illegal gathering. Disperse immediately or we will open fire. We're not looking for confrontation. We've done no harm. We have no intention of doing any. But know that we are not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom. I repeat, this is an illegal gathering. If you do not disperse immediately, we will shoot. Marcus, they're gonna kill us. We have to attack. There's more of us. We can take them. If we attack, we'll start a war. We have to show them we're not violent. We should just stand their ground, even if it means dying here. Dying here won't solve anything. Marcus, we need to go now, before it's too late. Marcus, don't choose confrontation. Follow me! <laughs>
yeah. Pretty much the exact opposite of what I did in my regular playthrough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm going to stop there. Went a little bit longer than I thought it would, but that's good. Alright, so uh, I don't think I'm going to be on tomorrow, but I should be on Tuesday. Uh, most likely between 6 and 7 p.m. Eastern Time. I don't know for sure. Like I said, it always depends on when I finish dinner. So, um, Yeah, it should be good. Uh, Tuesday between 6 and 7. Thank you for watching. Um, hope you join again on Tuesday. All right.